Early Beach, Aussie's Great Barrier Reef. The sun, sand, and spiders the size of your hand. Brummy rat catcher and arachnophobe Craig has been called to the suburbs to remove one from a bedroom where it was found by six year old Eden. I saw this big hairy spider beside my bag. Craig is here to meet Aussie spider wrangler Dougal. He's a local wildlife warrior who needs Craig's help. Dougal? Craig, nice to meet you, mate. How you doing? You alright? I appreciate you coming out and meeting me. No problem, me. mate. A willing victim. Well, look, I've actually got a little bit of a surprise for you. By the sound of things, from the report from the family, we've got a really nice, big, beautiful triangular. Could be a huntsman. It's going to probably be about three quarters of the size of my hand. This is, this is a big issue for me. I don't <laughs> do spiders. You don't do spiders? <laughs> do spiders at all. My family traumatised when I was a kid. Used to chase around the house with spiders. Little, you know, them, them ones about that big, but they grow like that big, massive. You find them in the bath. Used to run around chasing me, make me cry and that. So are we going to, like, destroy it? No, we're not. It? it is a protected species, so we do have to remove it. What can it be a rat? Kill the rat. Do you know what I mean? Spiders. Have rights, nah. I think it was over near the bed when I right, saw it. that toy box there, yeah. perhaps? Right. He's under there. Right there he is. Right. Yeah. Oh, there he is indeed. You're right. right. Come, come through, mate. It's OK. We'll let them do it, hey? I hate spiders. Good girl. Let's yeah. get him. OK. So, yeah, all right. Put that one there. All right. We well, need not worry about that. <laughs> Put him here. Okay, now she's going to be under underneath this because it's an ideal thing. An angry, potentially angry spider. It's very dangerous, and I'm not comfortable at all. This is, you know, definitely a quite venomous, large spider. This can harm you. Um, keep your nerve. If it runs at you, just remain frozen. Okay. From where I last saw her, she was just in underneath there somewhere. If she, she runs, it'll be along the length of the wall there. Don't freak out, don't damage her. All right, you ready? Just nice and calmly. Oh, my God. There she is. Craig's come face to face with Australia's highly venomous tarantula, or whistling spider. A bite from this beauty would mean an immediate trip to hospital. Yeah, nice and gently. Oh, my God. All right. Just gently put the container in front of her. Sorry, I'm breaking. <laughs> Look at this stage of it. No, just relax. Just keep calm. Because the more you bounce around, the more active she's going to get and the more she's likely to freak out. Just, yeah, keep cool. So you just want to use this one to... Yeah, that's it. Nice and calmly. You're doing really well. That's it. OK. Fantastic, mate. Well yeah, done. Okay. Well yeah. done. It was huge. It, it's like massive eyeballs and that, like, legs and arms and everything, muscles and that, like. Now, she's called the whistling spider because she's got these fang housings, her trilliceri. Now, they're full of little stout, bristly hairs, and it's like Velcro, and when she rubs her fang housings together, that's where the whistling noise comes from. Um, mate, do you fancy having a little hole? Come on, give me this hand. No, you don't need to. No, I'm not, I'm not, I won't marry you, no. This is, this is an <laughs> introduction to Australia. You don't, don't need to do it. You put it on your hand. You don't need to do it. You can't look. <laughs> well done, mate. You've done such a stellar job today. Just gently encourage her onto you. Now, I want you to put your next hand up here, mate. Can you take it off me? Yeah. I'm, like, freaking out here. I'm not going to have a... Uh, an episode or something. I'm sweating profoundly. Now, she is quite venomous. This um, spider is lethal to dogs. Now, she'd kill a... I wondered why I didn't see any dogs in the neighbourhood. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I've, I've got enough respect for you. I think you're nuts. Look at the state of me. Sweating those. That, that's fear. That's absolute. It's warm outside, but... Here, within Craig, um, sweating, bum cheek sweating, dripping down my leg, uh, in my socks, my shoes, everything. Like, I'm, you know, it's coming, it's, it's oozing out of me. It's like I've been under booze for the last three days or something, but it's not the case. I'm just, I'm, I've just had an experience, an outer body experience. 
A 24-hour drive south will get you to Bateman's Bay in New South Wales, where passionate creepy crawly expert Martin from Canterbury has come to help Col. Col is the most Aussie of pest controllers, who makes Crocodile Dundee look like Dame Edna on a spa day. <laughs> Paul needs Martin to help him on the nastiest job in town. I enjoy it, killing spiders to feral cats, rabbits, foxes, pigs, um, feral deer. Not exactly Martin's cup of tea. I love my animals. I guess there's always going to be that element of, of having to um, either dispatch or, or destroy an animal. It's a stray, you know, it's, it's, that's what it's all about. For this odd couple, today's challenge is definitely not for the faint-hearted. They've been called in by the local slaughterhouse to deal with their rat problem. You're gonna love this place here, mate. The smell of here, mate, it's like, oh. Yeah, I wind this window down, you have a smell, mate. Like, it's this, oh, it smells like death. Oh, yeah, mate. This is the abattoirs, mate. We've got to go and check all the uh, vermin traps and everything like that around the place. All right. So in here, all these sheds, there's all rodent boxes. Yep. Right, here's one here. Okay. So what it is, these rodent boxes inside, there's bait. Yep. So we open them up, we pull them apart, and we check them. So the rodent eats it, and then they go away and die. I don't know how you're standing still, this is disgusting. What, you don't like the smell? No, no, I'm not used hey? to this. Oh, wait up, mate, wait until we get up here a little bit further, it even smells better. He just couldn't, couldn't cope with it. I, I don't know, maybe he's worked in the florist, I don't know, but it's just... <laughs> It's just one of them things. This is where all the cattle is. Yeah, smell it. And then we go, they all come down there and they go into the kill floor. How's everyone just walking around with no masks? This is disgusting. Oh, I man. feel like a contracted cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Your nose is... She'll be right, China, don't worry no, about it. Your stomach's stronger than mine. Just watch where you step here, you'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a horror film, isn't it, really? Blood and guts everywhere, and it's not, not nice. Come on, this is reality, mate. Come on, we'll go and put the gloves on, mate. We'll do these boxes. Yep. Open her up. That's the bait. See, they're all mouldy. Yep. So they're not going to eat that. So we'll just change the baits over. How often do these get changed? Uh, we do them every month. Right. Martin's trying to concentrate, but he's a long way out of his comfort zone. Oh. Yeah, geez, you keep looking over there, mate. What's going on? Oh, too hey? much. You want to leave, mate? I'll go and do them all. You want to go and sit in the car? Hey? Yeah, that'll be too easy. <laughs> That's it? Perfect. And then do your bin up. Beautiful. You've done well. <laughs> Just try and get these smashed out quick. <laughs> I guess a lot of us eat meat and things like that. You actually come to a place like this and it's, it's gut wrenching and just you think about all these little pens and things that things are cramped into. I'm probably coming off as a bit soft now, but I do like my animals. You have to kill them to actually get get the meat. I don't know how else you do it. I'm not I'm not Einstein, but you know it's a logical way to do it, isn't it? The sight, the smell was horrendous, and he was laughing and joking about it. Oh, you pommies, such weak stomachs. And I thought, mate, there's animals with their throats blurred, are cut and guts and offal everywhere. I'm thinking, mate, you are actually mental. Maybe Martin just doesn't have the stomach for this kind of work. All righty, that's the last two. I think this place is completely uh, disgusting. It's made me not really want to eat meat again. <laughs> Back at Early Beach, Dougal the Wildlife Warrior is determined to help Craig get over his fear of spiders by taking him for a relaxing walk out in the bush. I think it's a ridiculous idea going out there in this heat, with this noise, with everything going on around you, being bitten and stuff like that. All right, mate, um, this is an ideal tree. When I realised Craig had such a massive phobia of spiders and was going to freak out and carry on, I thought there's no better thing to do than to throw him in the deep end and introduce him to the biggest of Australian spiders, see how he copes with that. And this is the ideal environment for them to 
even on a nice dead tree like this under all this flaking bark. Now um, we'll take a bit of a look and why? Why are we just? Why are we destroying a tree to find a spider that nobody really cares about, mate? <laughs> There's no better spider to show you to get over a phobia. I don't want to get over the phobia. I don't care about the spiders. I control it by keeping away from them. Oh yeah, here we go. It's a beautiful one here, mate. <laughs> It's an Australiensis, so named because it's as big as Australia. But it's commonly known to every household in the country as the Huntsman. How do you feel right now? Just terrified, mate. <laughs> How's about we have a bit of a go handling you, this one? You you have a look. You look, you All handle right, shall it. Shall I? Don't, don't, you don't have to say we. Not you and me, you. Not me. <laughs> you and it. It's, it's actually completely harmless. Like, the only thing to fear from this spider if you happen to be an insect then you'd be in trouble. So that spider's not even venomous? She's not at all. She might not be venomous, but as Australia's largest spider, she will grow to a terrifying size. I'm cacking myself here now. Fancy having a go, yeah. shall we? Right. Yeah, go on, you, so you, you lead the way. Go on then, grab it. There we go. Look at her, she's beautiful, mate. Oh, look at that, beautiful. All right. And look, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Come on, there's... Mate, most Aussies wouldn't do this. You're a champion. Look at that. Look. <laughs> now, there's no reason to fear. As you can see, she's got those, those fangs you were talking about. Don't make it move fast. <laughs> you're mad, ain't you? I knew you're a, you're, bad, you're a bad idea, you are. You're like every, every person's nightmare. <laughs> Now, there's no reason to fear. Like, you can see she's behaving really nicely. <sighs> and this is like your initiation to a show. Don't make it move faster. <laughs> you're harder you're mad at you. What are you doing? <laughs> Leave me alone. Get away. You're like, you're, like, you're like the Grim Reaper of death. Yeah, you take it, yeah? Because I'm like, oh, it's going to spill something. <laughs> Got... ah! Get it off me, Ed. Uh, it's all right, mate. You're doing really well. Most I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out, grabbing, right, moving, stand, stand, and dri still, still. <laughs> dribbling and everything. Look what she's doing. You're getting her a bit excited, so you best calm down, because otherwise, look, I'll try and you're... get her off now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> mate, you're doing really well. This is completely non-toxic. Put it on. It went on my head. It did indeed. I manned up. I dealt with it. I was forced to do it, mind you. And I didn't want it on my head, but it went on my head and I went to pieces, but I've, I've held it. I'm proud of you. You wouldn't catch most Aussie blokes doing this, so you've done really, really well. This is outrageous. The things that you're making me do. Look at the size of it. Listen, mate, come here, right? <laughs> I've, got enough, I've got enough respect for you, I have. You know that, don't you? Ah, uh, you're yeah? such a lovely lad. See, she likes you too much. There so you go, look. Anyway. I've got enough respect for you. <laughs> you know, you're not even freaking out at all, are you? No, I've grown up with these spiders <laughs> everywhere, mate. I think you should let it go. Look at the state of that. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> here, look. Nice, here, look. This is how brave oh. I am, look. Yeah, I love my feet. I've got no fear of spiders anymore. I'm done with spiders, oh, right? Brad, you can happily work for me any day. Thanks, mate. I'll give a pass, all right? <laughs> That's it. Off you go. Try, love. Gonna give her a kiss, go on. No chance, give mate. Give her a kiss. I'll get a tickle his bum. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Put Thanks, it there. mate. I appreciate that. Welcome to Australia. Go see what else we can find, eh? No. <laughs> The Sunshine Coast in Queensland, a mecca for tourists. And more than 10 different types of venomous snake. Into this sun-drenched snake pit arrives 19-year-old Casey from Bromley in South London. More at home with rat catching for the family pest control business, she's determined to prove she has what it takes to work down under. You always think that girls are more weak about like seeing things like holding insects, <laughs> holding a snake, holding everything. So you just think that girls are more like freaked out by these things. I wanted to prove that girls can actually handle things as well as men. Oh, 
Hello, this is Richie. Hello, Richie. We've got a lovely python that is on our deck. Oh, really? Uh, Casey's been thrown into the deep end with experienced snake handler Richie. Richie is the snake charmer of northern Queensland. For the last 13 years, I've been um, catching and relocating rogue snakes. And nothing surprises me. I'm, I've been called out to a, a brown snake in a toilet, which ended up being something that just needed to be flushed. Nick. Yes, hello. Richie. Hello, please. Nice to, to meet, meet you. you. You're yeah, on watch, too. are you? Yes, yeah, mate. And Nick, this is Casey as well. Casey's nice to meet you. Hello, Casey. in nice training. Hi. Out from England. We saw this huge carpet snake. He's crawled through that gap down there and he's gone behind that post where he lives now. <laughs> Carpet pythons in an urban environment, they love it. They thrive on it. We provide them with all this food, rats and mice, cats, small dogs. They eat them all. Never mind the pets. Nick's more worried about his grandkids. Pythons can grow to three and a half metres and they crush their prey to death. So as I've arrived to the first ever snake job that I'll be dealing with, my heart just started beating so fast because I thought, oh my God, why does the snake have to be so awkward for me? It did actually remind me of a rat job actually because sometimes rats go under decking um, and you have to put like external bait boxes down there. But then this was, nah, it, it wasn't actually nothing like that when you think about it, nothing. Unfortunately, he's just in a position where Casey's not going to be able to have a good go at him, so I'll have to do it. I have to stick my hand right up in here and just grab it and pull it out. If you can be ready with the bag. Oh my God, so Richie is going to actually pull this snake out and he has told me that it will actually probably zoom off and then the first thing he'll see is me and then it will probably most most probably bite me and I'm just thinking to myself why on earth did you have to say that to me because now I'm I'm even more scared than I was a minute ago so he's not venomous he is a carpet python lots and lots of sharp teeth though and they do draw blood and they do hurt I really don't want to get bitten on the face all right let's give him a little poke and get him to come out this way hear it hissing here it comes He's going to come at my head in a second. Here it comes. Here comes the bite. Uh -oh. I'm going to try and get that bag. OK, I'm just going to restrain it. I don't really have much of a choice. in the bag. That was scary. I did think that it was going to go for you. Yeah. So I'm going to get it out and then attempt to settle it down for you. When we go and catch a rat, it's a pest at the end of the day. You know, you have to get rid of them. With a snake, you have to catch it and release it somewhere because obviously they are protected. So it is a sense of relief that finally I'm actually releasing an animal back into like its natural environment. thousand kilometres further north, Craig is having some time off. He wants to try a spot of good old British crabbing. He was asking the locals for some advice. Can be a couple of kilo on weight. What a crab can. Nippers like that. All right. One's a crusher, one's a cutter, bite your toes off, bite your fingers off, bite your nose off if you get too close. So you've got to be careful, don't sort of clown about with them, because I did one day, and that's what happened. I was playing around with it, and it latched on my ear there, and um, took a chunk out. And I retrieved the chunk and put it on a hook and threw it back in, and I got a nice big barramundi. Wow, wow. When I was a kid, I used to go crabbing for fun. And this is just turning into a whole exercise now. Right. This is turning into a military operation. Yeah. I'm thinking danger, 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 danger. Everything's danger. Everything in Australia is very dangerous, isn't it? And I... Well, look, if, if, you're, if you're not careful, that'll happen. That's some crock. Oh, that's just brilliant, mate. You're making so, me feel so secure and... Yeah. 
Okay, it's been nice talking to you, mate. Keep you know, okay. up. Ta-da, mate. <laughs> Ignoring the expert advice, Craig wants to try his luck with the British classic, bacon and a rock. Just how discerning can Aussie crabs be? See so if they're going to come along and they're going to love this. They do it in England, anyway. Is this here, look, moving. There's a crab there. He's took the bacon, look. He's actually took the bacon. <laughs> He's a blue crab. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> come on, crabby. Come on, shark, mate. Oh, look, we missed it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Come here, mate.